Today's topic is AC resistance. We know when current flows in a wire with their resistance R, the power loss will be I square R. But that is applicable for DC. In case of AC, resistance of wire will be more than DC resistance. And higher the frequency of AC, higher the resistance value will be. More frequency, more resistance value. So this formula will not remain valid. We have to give new value of a resistance. This increase in resistance because of higher frequency in AC is because of two reasons. One is called skin effect, another is called proximity effect. Here we will learn skin effect. Suppose this is wire, in that current is flowing, so because of current, magnetic field will be created here, around this wire, that I have shown by H. Now if this current is changing, then this magnetic field also will change, and because of change in magnetic field, a induced EMF will be there inside the wire and eddy current will be generated. This induced EMF push the electron outside. Electron means electron will carry the current in this wire. This I have shown the cross section area of this wire. Suppose this is wire we cut here and from this side we see so we will see a circle. This circle is that and red color is current flowing. We are seeing in the middle there is no current and at side around more current is flowing because of skin effect. Because of induced EMF, current electron has shifted outside. So because current is not flowing in the full area, so resistance of the wire will be more. And higher the frequency, the more resistance will be there. This distance is called delta, that is skin depth. In this distance, 63% current flows, remaining will be inside. Now this is skin depth with frequency. This is formula for skin depth. This depends upon frequency also. Higher the frequency, lower the value of delta will be. And F, omega is equal to 2 pi F, F is the frequency of current flowing in this wire. If you calculate this, delta for various frequency value will come like this. You see at 50 hertz, this is 9.3 mm. But 1 mega hertz, it will be only 0 0.066 mm. It means at higher frequency, for very less area, current will flow, so resistance will be very high. Same thing if you plot in the log scale, this is frequency, this is delta, this I have calculated for copper. So this one will come like this. This is for copper. Depending on material, resistivity value will be different. So different line will come. And because of this, resistance of the wire will be very high. This is due to skin effect. Now we will learn what is proximity effect. Suppose there are two wires and AC current is flowing in both the wire. So because this current is AC, this will create induced EMF in this wire because of proximity, because they are closer to each other. Similarly, this current will induce EMF in this wire. Because of this induced EMF, a current will flow into both the wire and current will not flow in full area. This is cross section of this wire. Suppose this wire is like this and we cut from here see from this side, then we will see a circle. 
that is cross section that I have shown here. Now suppose this wire is this, this wire is this, and current flowing in both the wires in the same direction. I have shown same direction cross. This similar cross means same direction. Here I have shown one cross, one dot, to opposite direction. So when in two wire current flows in the same direction, then current will not flow in full area but will in less area but away from each other. You see, this current and this current are away from each other. Here no current is flowing. That is called current disturbance in a wire due to proximity effect. And because of this shifting of current, full area will not be used. So the distance of wire will increase, so losses will be more. Here, current direction is reverse in both the wire, then current will become close to each other. Here they were going away, here they are coming closer. This red color is current flowing. This area and this area, no current. So because full area current is not flowing, only small area current is flowing, so resistance will be more, and last it will be more. Now suppose there are three wires. In all the three wire, current is flowing in the same direction. Then, like here, current will move away from each other. So in this wire and this wire, current will flow here and here. In middle wire, current will flow here and here. So full area will not be used in any wire. So resistance of all wire will increase and losses will be more. This problem is there in SMPS transformer because in SMPS transformer frequency of voltage and current is very high so losses are more because of proximity effect. Today this much only.